check out the fanciness on this car. Woo! Gotta hit the Tesla. Let's see if we can get out of this little corner place. What is up, you guys? Every single car on this street is freaking fancy. And, um, you know, we're not even in the, like, North Hills. We're just in the slums of Beverly Hills. And every freaking car here is freaking fancy. And, like, everything is so expensive. And, uh, gosh, I have so much to say. But I have to put the map in for San Diego because that's where I am headed at the moment. The streets of Beverly Hills. Woo! I just want to show you a little bit of it as I'm driving through. This is where I grew up, you know, not my whole life. Up until I was about 10, we were poor, but um, around that time is when we moved to Beverly Hills. And things changed. Um, look at that house right there, new build. It feels weird to be back in LA because every time I'm back, I have these mixed feelings of first, like, wow, everything is so beautiful. And uh, that would be so nice if I can afford all of this myself. And then the other feeling is like, oh no, I can't afford this myself because it's so expensive. And like, I will always have to be dependent on someone else if I ever want to live here uh, because it's just so expensive. Like we went out to dinner last night and the appetizers, the appetizers were like a hundred dollars for like each little tiny appetizers. The drinks, I went to the swanky bar um, near my parents' house. The drinks were, the cheapest drink on the menu was $25. The cheapest drink. Stuck in traffic. I'm gonna try and show you as much as possible. So yeah, as I was saying, the cheapest drink, $25. Um, very tiny little portions and like you're just like oh my god who's paying for this because uh, it's not gonna be me hold on so I wish I got more shots of last night the night before um, because that's you know those are the nights that we went out and um, there was more exploring and there's like so many nice things to see like I wish I got more shots of it but uh, the past few days, I've been going and getting nonstop tests at doctors because of my heart. Um, you know, I went to see a cardiologist, a very, really good cardiologist in um, Beverly Hills, the top of his field, and he also happens to be a family friend. And um, he was really nice and caring and he like kind of freaked me out. He did like a e, uh, electrocardiogram and then he was like, oh, you have to do an echocardiogram, but our technician isn't here today. And you have uh, arrhythmia and tachycardia and enlarged left atrium and all these things that freaked me out, sounded scary. And another thing is that he, he asked my mom, if she could like measure my arm length against my height because I guess he was worried that uh, and I was looking at the, that and that's I guess a symptom of Marfan syndrome is when your your arms are longer than your height and so I guess he wanted to test me for this genetic disorder uh, which means a much shorter lifespan and heart problems. So I don't know, you know, like, I don't know if any of that is a big deal. You know, uh, one of the doctors that I went to, he also wanted me to get like eye pressure exam, like blood in your eye pressure. So I went and got that exam and like a whole bunch of coordination stuff. And the other doctor was actually like, yeah, you're fine and I think you're just dehydrated and malnourished, like you're not eating properly. You should be like hydrated constantly, especially because you're in Texas. And he actually wanted to invest in Texas and he was asking me about what I do. And he was just so nice. He was like, 
yeah, I want to invest in your Airbnbs, in your Airbnb business. And I was telling him like, yeah, so it's, it's going okay, but like, it's still kind of an experiment for me. Like, I don't really, I'm not operating at such a professional level. So I can't really give you these like big numbers for you to invest. And he was like, it's fine. I, 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 I know you. I knew you since you were a little girl. I trust you. And uh, whatever you do, like, I will be fine with it. And just here's my email address and please just send me your numbers. And so I'm like, okay. So I guess I'm gonna have investors and which is really exciting, but it's also, it's that feeling of like, this is so exciting to have people wanting to invest in me and what I do or to, for me to like to invest and for me to manage their investments. Um, that's very exciting. But at the same time, it's like you want to rise to the occasion because you don't want to fuck up their investment. And like, I don't even, I don't even know if I'm ready for it, but I, I want to be like, I want to make it happen. So I don't know. It's scary. It's like exciting and scary. And gosh, LA is pretty. There you go. Here's some more beautiful palm trees and all that shit. In case you're wondering how I got this nice BMW, it's not mine it, or my parents. It's actually, I just rented it off Turo. And Turo is a great app. I'm not, this isn't an advertisement for Turo. I've rented out my car on Turo in the past and I've rented other people's cars. It's great. Like I. I can be in any city and have any fancy car I want or any type of car, you know, for whatever occasion it is. Like this occasion is that I'm going to a fancy wedding in San Diego. It's going to be a few days long. Uh, so it'll help to have a car to go from like different parts of the wedding ceremony or whatever is happening. And hopefully I'll get as much of the wedding stuff as I can. Um, I got my shoes. Uh, oh, I need to get my nails done, which I didn't do yet. Gosh. So, yeah. Um, also, I just want to say, if I haven't mentioned it in the previous videos, like, thank you so much for everybody. Um, thank you so much for everybody who, like, was sending warm wishes my way and being so nice. Uh, caring so much about my, you know, what I was saying in that previous video that, you know, the heart issues. Um, I still don't know exactly what the full issue is and uh, I still have to get more tests. I still have to get, I still have to get, you know, like an echocardiogram. They still want me to do more blood tests. There's still things to be afraid of, but you know, after talking to more doctors, um, either in person or talking over the phone, and fortunately in the Jewish community, um, my parents have a lot of family friend doctors that are very good at what they do. And so it really helps to talk to so many people that know what they're talking about. And I feel, I feel much better, like, and no, they don't all think that I'm in the middle of having a heart attack. Although when I, I got the EKG the uh, or the, the electrocardiogram, when I had that, they actually did think that I was kind of having a heart attack, which was really scary. They were like, but, but it was because I only had coffee that day and I was running and I didn't have anything else to eat. Like, and I was, uh, my mom was there and I was nervous and like there were just so many factors that made my heart rate. Oh, and I had THC uh, the night before. So THC the night before, didn't eat anything. And then the next day, coffee, like caffeine, that was a huge shock to my heart. So um, a bunch of factors caused that EKG to look really kind of scary to the doctor. So, um, but, you know, talking to more people, I've also been talking to some of you guys. Uh, some of you have texted me, messaged me, DM me, and, and I'm so sorry if I haven't, like, if I've been taking so long. Um, I really appreciate it. And some of the advice is really good, like the vitamin D. That's definitely, I have a vitamin D deficiency. I'm the highways in California. 
So quick update, you guys. I pissed in my pants because my <laughs> I, I keep blaming it on my mom for making me drink smoothies. But the reality is I could have avoided drinking these smoothies if I control myself a little bit. But they were just so good that I drank them. And then on my way to this bridal luncheon, I pissed in my pants and not even in the car fortunately actually because this is a rental and the whole car would smell like piss and I wouldn't even know how to clean it but like so there's traffic in California and then so on then there's also like nowhere to park so I'm trying to like find somewhere to park so I can just like get out of the car and just like and it was all of a sudden I needed to pee all of a sudden and I run out and then I see a nail salon and I like I don't even ask them anything I'm just like oh my god like they know what's happening because as I'm running my piss is coming out so my pants my jeans that I bought for the purpose of this bridal luncheon they're 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 getting wet and everyone's watching and I'm running to the back and everyone knows what's happening and they point to the back and I piss on the way to the bathroom and I stink and so then I changed my clothes. I'm an hour and a half late to this luncheon. It's embarrassing. I still haven't brought my gift with me. Ugh. But I'm trying to not be a big baby about it, even though I've already been. I'm gonna try not to be even more of a baby about it. 